Okay, yeah, Philly again from PT Precision Automotive. Got a little Golf GTI here. It's a BWA engine, a little turbocharged motor. Um, somewhat common, not this motor, but a lot of VW motors are common to braking pistons. Um, he's got, he's using a lot of oil, like he's using a litre of oil every two weeks, maybe about 300 k's to 500 k's, he's saying. Um, so it was blowing a bit of smoke, but it had an oil leak. It was quite a bad oil leak. So I sort of suspected maybe piston, you know, piston's broken in there or what. Um, anyway, the oil leak, we've investigated, we're going a bit further, we've taken the time case off. So camshaft oil seal is leaking, which is no big deal. It's a big strip down, but that's an oil leak. As, and it's, that's not going to use a litre of oil a week. No oil leak, unless it's pouring out, it's going to do that. So we thought we'd do a, um, a cylinder leak down test. You have to put the, each piston up on top dead centre with the valves closed and that will give you a percentage of the leak down on the, um, on the engine. So the Emma's got it all out, ready to go. She's dead. Where is she? She's hiding. <laughs> <laughs> She does, all, she does all this, but you need two people to do it. So you get it up close to top dead center. Okay, wind it up to the top there. She's got to hold it. Yeah, it's coming, coming, coming. Yeah, hold on to it, Emma. Yeah, she's, that's, okay, hold it there. So she's locked that up on top dead center. So the piston's, the piston's up the top, the valves are all closed. It's only leaking 10%, right? So that's that one. We know that one's good. We've already figured out number three is the problem. So just just wind it there, Emma. Okay, hold it. Me making love to a fox <laughs> wagon. <laughs> Okay, wind it up, Emma. Yeah, hold it. That's leaking, right? 50%. Pistons have got blow-by coming through them, yeah? You wind it up a bit tighter. Yeah, nah. He's gone. Yeah? Is it gonna get roll over it or not? No. Okay, so that's it. Can you roll it over or not? Yeah, I'll take it off there. Yeah. 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 Right. So that's it. So that's... You basically got... I would say, knowing these engines, that the ring lands are going to be broken. Um, engine has to come apart, bottom end out, new pistons, new rings. That's a common issue with it. It's a massive undertaking, it's expensive, you can fix the oil leak up at the same time. Um, this thing is blowing a bit, of, the customer didn't notice it, but when you're driving the car you don't really notice a lot. If you sit it here and you're in your rev it, you go off on a rush, you'll see the smoke coming out of it. So that unfortunately is going to be his um, oil consumption, not the leak, but it's going to be the, the engine that's doing it. So anyway, just thought I'd quickly show you. You know, you've got to do a bit of diagnosis before you can give an assumption to the customer and tell him both issues. Because the others, the others, you saw the number four that we did. We've done two and uh, one and two, and they were the same as number four. Number three is the issue. Okay.